Hi, my name is Les Fox. I'm a resident of Wyckoff, New Jersey. Lived here for over 30 years, and I'm just taking a nice little video um, of one of my favorite little shopping centers. It's affectionately known to local residents as the Little Market Basket Shopping Area. Uh, the big one is now in Franklin Lakes. There's Sycamac Pharmacy. There's um, uh, Abby's Diner. And I guess that's about it. And here's what it looks like at the intersection of um, Cedar Hill and Sycamac Avenues on a Thursday morning at around 11, 11.30. And uh, as you can see, the police like shopping over here too. Uh, over on the corner next to the market basket is uh, Aki's or Achi's gas station. Uh, Mike and Ed are the two gentlemen I've known for many years who run this place and do a great job and they're good friends. And as you can see, there's not a lot of traffic. There's traffic here and on a, on a again, it's a Tuesday morning, 11, 12 o'clock a.m. And uh, I, don't, I don't see any big advantage if there was a, a traffic light and, and more sidewalks over here because as you can see there aren't too many people walking around sure there are at other times and i'm sure there would be times when a sidewalk would be nice but it's not it's not a big deal to me i kind of like things just the way they are here we are looking up toward franklin lakes looking west this would be changed to three lanes of traffic coming from franklin lakes uh, under the proposal of the uh, christian Healthcare center's new vista project which this this is the christian now looking this is right across the street from the here's the market basket and here's the Christian Healthcare Center. It's right across the street. And this is a great place. They've been around for over 100 years. They've, been, they've done wonderful work. They have a school there. They have uh, assisted living, nursing facilities. They, they do great things. And, uh, and everybody around here loves the Christian Healthcare Center. But what people are worried about is that there's 20 acres over here that the Christian Healthcare Center owns. It's all trees. They're talking about taking down 2,000, 2,200 of those trees, chopping them down. I think that little building that used to be some kind of an auto body shop is going to go and uh, they want to put in a traffic light here, which you can see there's a reasonable amount of traffic here. Now, not a lot. Sometimes it's a lot. There's people biking here and sometimes there's people walking here. And I don't, from what you can see here, does it look like we absolutely need a traffic light in small town Wyckoff and, and sidewalks and from, this is, now we're looking down Sycamac Avenue as it comes up from Hawthorne and Hawthorne, um, uh, would also be part of the new community called the Vista, part of the 250 uh, luxury apartments that we built straight ahead behind all those trees. I guess I don't know how many of those trees would be gone, maybe all of them. Um, and again, just for perspective, there's Sycamac heading toward Franklin Lakes. Here's the intersection of Cedar Hill Avenue, where right now there's a stop sign. It seems to control traffic pretty well, but some people think we need a traffic light here. I personally don't. A lot of people don't. Some people think we need sidewalks here. There is one across the street. You can cross over and use that sidewalk. Uh, there's a sidewalk right over here too, right behind the market basket, going down to the Cedar Hill Shopping Center, which I think goes all the way down to Wyckoff Avenue uh, and, and may continue. So there's a lot of sidewalks around here. I don't know that we need any more. Uh, I like the Cedar Hill Shopping Center. It's down there, it's great. Um, and I guess that's really all I wanted to do, is just show you this this nice little intersection as it looks right now because it may be changing um, in a couple of years. This may be what they call a vintage video of wonderful old Wyckoff as it used to exist and uh, we don't know what will happen if they uh, close up. If they put a sidewalk al along Sycamac Avenue over here, probably along Cedar Hill over here, and a sidewalk coming up to the corner and a traffic light and three lanes of traffic in that direction and four lanes of traffic in that direction and a sidewalk all the way along here. Um, they say cars are only going to be able to pull out of this gas station heading toward Franklin Lakes. They'll only be able to pull out of the, Sycama the um, Market Basket parking lot heading toward Franklin Lakes. So in other words, you won't be able to make a left turn. If you've got gas here, you wouldn't be able to make a left turn to go down Cedar Hill. You could only make a right turn and then you'd have to drive down. Whoop, there goes. Somebody going a little faster. You might have to drive down to uh, to Mountain or who knows where to make a turn and come back, or drive all the way down to Russell, which is about half a mile, three quarters of a mile in that direction. But anyway, this is uh, this is one of my favorite little spots in Wyckoff, and I just wanted to make a video of how it looks now on um, January 31st, 2012, because it may not look this way in a few years. Hopefully, it will. But uh, this is a record of what it looks like right now. 
and uh, I think it's perfectly nice here and perfectly safe and there's the Christian Healthcare Center which to me I think it's on 60 acres now it's it's pretty big like it is got a nice American flag out there I love it everything is fine here so uh, oh I see the police car has been here for a while getting his stuff that's interesting and uh, that's my story one man's opinion I hope you enjoyed this video and um, that's it have a nice day